I made a video talking about why Cobble can't whoop Kid Boo and people let me have it and I still stand strong on that. I argue that like a religion. Kid Boo is beating Cobble ass but people kept telling me, nah bro, see that's where you wrong because Vegeta clearly stated when him and Cobble fought that they were even on each other's base levels and Vegeta base level is stronger than everybody in Z. So that means Cobble is too. And I'm like, Vegeta said that, right? Yeah, Vegeta. The same Vegeta who told me on Namek that he was going Super Saiyan. Every next episode episode of Dragon Ball, I thought Vegeta was going super on Namek until I seen Goku go super. Since we want to talk about Super Vegeta, he got his ass super whoop by Rakum on Namek. And I'm the person who says, ah, yo, my goodness, somebody help that man, scare Bow! You do well, haha. -ha. You do well. Look, freeze in the eyes. I'm the prince of all sins, and I'm the super saiyan that you, you was always afraid of. You destroyed my planet because you fear me. Had me really arguing with folks. We're going to find out next time on Dragon Ball. He's really going super saiyan. He said the last 10 episodes and got his ass beat by Freezer, man. And Freezer are eating crusty crab on me. They talk all that super saiyan shit now, homie. Oh, let me get this up off you. Oh, yeah. Let the good hands commence catch these body shots bah yeah yeah bah shut your ass up bing bing bah bing bing what are you supposed to do who's supposed to be fire you from sorry one two this is why Gohan didn't want to be a saiyan he's in the prince of them all getting whooped like this four seats the same Vegeta who told 18 bitch you ain't nothing but a cheap ass microwave try me if you want to she skirt bah on bumpers what you mean did him so greasy arm ain't never been the same I remember it like it was yesterday's episode man the prince of all saiyans talked hella heat and got done dirty in front of his yeah. son who broke the rules of time to try to prevent this yeah. from even happening. I drew his arm the other way around on the credits of this episode. It said Android 18 artwork, man. Arm ain't been the same since. This is the same Vegeta who said he got a move called the Final Flash, but ain't never sent somebody to King Yama. King Yama ain't never heard of that move before. Plenty of people done checked in off the Kamehame. The Death Beam never a Final Flash. When Goku told Gohan, hey fam, you can go fight Cell Must get the what? He letting Gohan go fight despite knowing Gohan for how long he still died at him? Krillin shit. All right, if you say so, be Hell no, not Kakarot Kid. Got Kakarot Kid fighting for his survival. The same homie he just doubted. And all of a sudden, kabow, his kid get popped. Cell came out with a dude on the right on the red ribbon. What well, Vegeta rushed him instantly. Powered up, go super, and start spamming the button. He didn't want to run that round with Cell. He the prince of all sand. See, he just got out the time chamber for this and ain't do nothing. None of that was worth anything. He had his time chamber training and came back with the, the death of his son on his conscience. Cell popped up. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, if you don't get your dumb ass on, Mr. Perfect, bow! Drop Vegeta, took his pupils away real quick, and then tried to finish him and your dad charged up on the father and son moment. Took my boy Gohan arm out real quick. He, bow! Other timeline, it was Trunks. This time, it was Vegeta. Well, I guess you can still say it was Trunks, but nonetheless, Gohan wasted an arm on this weak-ass power scaling Vegeta, man. Vegeta didn't even know his son can go Super Saiyan. The same Vegeta who was here, this grown Oh man, gravity, what you trying to do? Go back in there and play with Goten or something. Man, this ain't nothing. Go super, bow! What the? Trying to get the. Hey, hey, but it did get the. How could he? Super Saiyan, step into the Grand Tour, Grand Tour, Grand Tour. You're on grown man gravity, huh? Daddy, I can't believe it. Power scaling. You know, they say everybody is super far stronger than everybody in Z. And I don't mean everybody can get whooped. There's a lot of people stronger than me, and I still beat their ass. But if we talking DBZ wise, boo bow back and kind of showed other wisey. What the hell is he? He messed around, gave him a little doggy biscuit booth, a little nug off the tree of my he Ha, go, quick snackity snacking. Boom, boom, boom. Got big and boo automatically opened the eyes on him. Man, get yo. Shot in gun. Let the good hands commence, man. Yeah, everybody stronger in Z and Super. Hey, what's up? Bing, 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 bing on bumpers. He, hey, all love me. Bing, 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 Hey, beat Boo ass and Boo still bounce back. So all that super characters are far stronger than Z characters. Hey, this Boo Blast might say otherwise. Hey, I mean, if that's the case, are they stronger or is it just the abilities they have make them formidable opponents? Because Choji Cousin was whooping up on Kaba. Her name was like Mona or something. You can't spell Mo without her name. I remember that for sure. But she was working Kaba. Can she flex everybody in Z by y'all logic? Because this is what Vegeta said on base level. Him and Kaba is easy. But hey, Kid Boo was shaking hips. Uh, play the Shakir Kid Boo was going crazy on Vegeta. Just Majin Boo in general. Big Boo, Skinny Boo, Kid Boo, any Boo really short. 
show Vegeta that trauma. So to hear going off power scale when Vegeta was confident in winning all of these fights, yeah. when Raditz popped in the early episodes, really it was episode one. Yeah, yeah, episode one. When Raditz got in the episodes, his power level was like this. And then we learn a few episodes later, the Cybermen got a power level right here, and so do Tien and Yamcha, which is higher than Raditz. So can we say they'll take a one-on-one with Raditz off of that strength? And if so, yeah, yeah, my boy Manaka, the strongest character, then because Beerus says so. Manaka can't spell his name without Mo. He skabow! Took a punch from base Goku. Base Goku, who think he the strongest warrior, will solo everyone in Z, man. And this Beerus level of power scale, and this far exceed what Vegeta think, man. That same base Goku who will solo everybody in Z, and not hurt you, bow! Got hit with the dynamite punch, sent them to the nosebleeds. They had a good game with J-Stars going. Let's get you lucky, ain't no jump force, man. Bing, 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 bing. You know, you lucky you ain't. Bow, 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 bow. Kamehameha. Kame, ha. Shout out the stadium. And guess who's the last man standing? Hurt you, hurt you. Hey, oh, bitch. <laughs> Sale Games World Tournament Anime Wars. If we going off because the show says so, hurt your power scale. And he got a lot of belts on his wall, man. You know, some could argue the reason the Sale Games ended the way they did. If 16 ain't get that speech to Gohan. And we don't know what would have happened at that point in time or that episode, man. And, you know, technically, even though he fought Cell, the Cell games ain't start until Cell and Goku fall. So, in the grand scheme of things, Hercule, after knocking out Android 18, scared, BOW! Dynamite punch! He might be 2-0 against Jero. Hey, if we going off power scale, hey, Vegeta, just because your dad get picked on in this little championship nug, man. Little homie, just a little quick, uh, in the cheek, fan. You a winner, I'm a winner, and one hit only, but I'm gonna let you go first. He's letting the young and go first. Oh man, that guy. <laughs> hey, go hurt you. Hey, let's go hurt you. Ah, quick chip. Bow! Championship nudge, huh? Hey, shit. Tom and Jerry done me good, Bosker. Bow! But that don't count as an L. That was for free. He saved his dad, though, man. Saved his pops. Could have farted in his face and everything. And what Majin, man, listen, man. Hercule got more W's on Boo than Vegeta do. So by the common logic, if that's the case, if Kappa can whoop Kid Boo, Hercule can whoop both of them. And all three of me, bow! Dynamite punch! Knocked a few variations of Boo out, man. And then if we going off the strength of super characters far stronger than Z, shit, you really don't want to see him now? He was up? He going, going super, super on folks, man. This is how the story goes. Oh, really hurt you a lot here. Can beat both of them. And damn everybody. By the common person. Man, hey, pop up on my Facebook. I be doing sit down, stand up on how life in other worlds will really be, man. Because I already know what I'm doing in certain situations. If I had a crash bandicoot box and get a Udama got mask, I'm finna play in traffic. I'm in this bitch looking like a squirrel, man. If I'm working with the Air Boys, like I said, working with. Because they had some good ideas. You trying to open a movie theater and only charge a quarter fit on the watch, man. Yeah, I'm with it. We can make a quarter at least, boy. That's a whole nother video and a whole nother time to talk. Talk though, but yeah, pop up on the page one time for the one time.